Hey everyone, what's up? It's Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have such a fun video to film. If you guys don't know this, you guys probably don't know this about me, but I love hygiene YouTube. It's like my favorite side of YouTube, but I just never thought I would be the type of person to film the videos because I have a humongous package from Bath & Body Works. I thought I would finally film a hygiene video or a self-care video. What are these called? But like I said, I got this huge package from Bath and Body Works and I'm so excited to show you guys um, I did shop for their $5.95 body care deal. I forgot. I think that was like last week or something But the package is finally here. I'm so so excited So I know this is gonna be a super long video, so I don't want to ramble any longer So I'm gonna just hop right into it. Okay, so this is everything inside it all looks so like pleasing to the eye because like Bath and Body Works has the best packaging so everything looks like super nice in here. The first thing that I see is You're the One and I have yet to try this. So this is You're the One. It says it's white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. Everyone says there's like controversy around this scent but the weird thing is is that everyone that says there's controversy says they like it. But I've actually never heard anyone say that they don't like it. Like, I've only heard people say that they do like it. So I might be the first one. Here we go. It smells very... Okay, okay. It's not what I thought it was going to be, but I still like it. So I will say it smells very older. So, um, it kind of reminds me of like an old lady, but like in the best way possible. <laughs> I think the strawberry nectar is what saves it. Like if it didn't have the strawberry scent, it would smell very old lady to me. It does smell very rich. Like, <laughs> like if I were to smell this on somebody, I'd be like, oh, you got money, huh? So I got this and look at this packaging. It is so, so beautiful. So the next thing that I see is, of course, a classic. This is warm vanilla sugar. I love warm vanilla sugar. I think it's the first scent that I ever bought from Bath & Body Works because I love me some vanilla scents. It's it's classic. It smells like pure sugar. Like, like it's not like bare vanilla from Victoria's Secret that has like a cashmere scent. This one smells like pure just vanilla sugar. So the fragrance notes are intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. All I smell is fresh sugar. If you guys have never tried warm vanilla sugar, I'm pretty sure everyone has. If you like are into Bath & Body Works, I'm sure you smell warm vanilla sugar. So I did not pick up the matching lotion because I already have the lotion. I bought it free. I bought it like last winter i think and i don't know why i never bought the matching body spray i only bought the lotion next thing that i got was gingerbread latte and i was so excited to pick this one up but i remember one of my favorite youtubers natalie grace um says like she, this was like hit or miss for her but i see why um so it smells so it smells so good like to me it kind of reminds me of warm vanilla sugar like they're very similar in a way but I will say that I understand why she wasn't the biggest fan of this only because it's not what you think it is. It does not smell like gingerbread or latte like at all, but it still smells so, so good. I definitely get that pear scent with a little bit of like brown sugar, but I don't get that gingerbread scent because to me, gingerbread smells like chai and like nutmeg. Like if you've ever smelled spiced gingerbread from Bath and Body Works, that's my favorite candle ever but this does not smell like it at all. And I don't get the coffee scent from like the latte either. I don't know, but it does smell so good. I am super excited that I picked it up. Like I don't regret picking it up at all. It smells so good, but it's just not, I feel like the name doesn't fit it. It should have been named something else because it does not give me gingerbread latte vibes at all. So I know Natalie says that she does not like this packaging. And I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw her video, I was like, holy hell, uh-uh. I did not like the packaging either. I thought it was so tacky. But now that I'm seeing it in person, I actually love it. Like, I think it is so cute. But also, I'm a sucker for like anything glitter or sparkly. I love it so much. I think it's so cute. I don't think it's tacky. I like it. <laughs> oh, I also got Winter Candy Apple. Once again, I love the packaging, which is so weird because like I was watching her video and I was like, oh my God, yeah, the packaging, hate it. But now I'm living for it. Like, I think it is so cute. 
Okay, so this is Winter Candy Apple, and I did hear that they did switch the scent. And I'm going to be honest, I did buy the candle, so I, I agree that they did um, definitely switch the scent, and it does smell very different. To me, it doesn't smell like... I feel like in previous years, it always smelled like sugar apple, like candy apple. So I feel like mainly I'm getting citruses, like pear and like oranges, but then just the littlest bit of apple. But I'm not mad at it. Like, I love it. Like, it's so good, but it's just not like the old scent. So if you like are obsessed with the classic scent and you want to pick it up to replicate that classic scent, it's not going to be it, but it is still really good. Like, you will still like it. So far, everything that I got is like a 10 out of 10. Like, I love everything. Warm vanilla sugar, winter candy apple, gingerbread latte, you were the one, all smelled amazing. So I'm like super happy right now. So the next body spray that I got, I'm actually most excited for this one. Like out of all the sprays, I was waiting for this one to come in. This one is Christmas cookies. If you guys don't know, my favorite scents of all time are sweet scents. I see so many people where they're like, I don't want to smell like a cupcake. I don't want to smell like um, frosting sugar. Namesis, I love the scent of like sweet, warm, fresh baked. Like, I love that, all that stuff. Pink sugar was my scent growing up. Like, I loved pink sugar. I'm gonna mention her again, but Natalie Grace and her video said that this smelled like confetti cake pop. And confetti cake pop is my favorite scent from Bath and Body Works, um, like body care wise. But she said that Christmas cookies smells just like it, so. It smells, so, okay, this smells just like confetti cake pop. In my opinion, this isn't as warm as confetti cake pop. I think confetti cake pop smelled like fresh out of the oven, like warm cake. This one to me smells like, oh, cookie dough. I was just gonna say that. It smells like, like dough. And I love that. It makes me wish I would've got the shower gel because I did not get the shower gel in it. But I just can't stop smelling it. So the fragrance mist is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. I definitely get all those notes. Like I get the cookie dough. It's definitely to me, it's not like fresh baked cookies. It's more of a cookie dough scent. And then almond biscotti and caramel, you get all of that. And the packaging, love it. I know, I know everyone hates the packaging, but I love it. I think it is so cute. Hey guys, so I know I look different because I was gonna go out and see the Christmas lights with my friends So I'm about to leave so I changed into a jacket But I will say that I just put on Christmas cookie and I mixed it with gingerbread latte and They smell so good together. So if you have both of them definitely try mixing them I love the scent together gingerbread latte and Christmas cookies because Christmas cookies just smell so warm and gooey And then adding gingerbread latte on top smells so good. So if you have both of them or maybe you don't like one or the other, definitely pair them together. So good. Okay, that was my quick little side note. Okay, bye. <laughs> so the next one I got is A Thousand Wishes. I haven't smelled A Thousand Wishes in years. Like, I used to be obsessed with A Thousand Wishes in high school. So I like don't pick it up anymore because I just feel like I overused it. But oh my gosh, it is so good. I don't... It's like the perfect girly scent without being like childlike. I don't know how to describe a thousand wishes to anybody, but it just smells like what it smells like what a princess would smell like to me. It's not like old lady like, but it also has like that floral scent to it. I just really, really, really like it. If you watch like shower talk, like shower TikTok, you already know about Thousand Wishes because this is what made me want to pick it up again. Everyone on hygiene TikTok always uses a Thousand Wishes and I was like, damn, like I haven't used that in a hot minute. So I'm gonna pick it up and I'm so glad that I did. The next fine fragrance mist that I got was Champagne Toast. Champagne Toast is a classic. Everybody loves Champagne Toast. I actually have never met anybody that doesn't like it. Like... I love it so much. If you've never tried Champagne Toast, please smell it. To me, it smells like peaches, rose, and champagne. Like, if you've ever tried the Stella wine in peach, oh my gosh, this smells just like it. The fragrance notes are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine, and I definitely get all of those notes. I don't know why, but it took me forever to get into Champagne Toast. I think I smelled it like a while back, and I remember it not smelling like anything, like nothing. And so, like, I never picked it up, and then I think last year my friend asked me if I'd buy her for uh, Christmas the Champagne Toast candle. 
and I really bought it for her and I smelled it and I was like oh my god this is good so ever since then I've been obsessed with it but I've only had like the mini ones for my car I've never bought a full-size one so the packaging is to die for look at this this is so cute I know that they've gone through so many of the champagne toast like different packagings because this is like their new signature scent um, but this one's like probably my favorite next scent I got was rose water and ivy I used to mess with rose water and ivy last summer oh my gosh so if you guys don't know I used to I moved back in with my parents but last year I did live in an apartment on my own and I would use rose water and ivy only like as the wall plugs as the candles as the um, like bathroom sprays I only use this one like I wanted my house to have a signature scent when people walked in they'd be like oh yeah this is Michaela's house <laughs> but oh my gosh like this takes me back to living on my own and I love it so much it is so clean but so sweet it is that perfect like scent so the fragrance notes is soft rose petals rain kissed ivy and creamy sandalwood if you love rose you are going to love this scent rose is one of my all-time favorite scents like besides vanilla i love rose so i'm a sucker for this scent the last body mist that i got was into the night i love into the night i've only ever had like the one for my car but finally i get a full size one So the fragrance notes are Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. I, I don't know how to explain it, but you literally get every single note. Like I smell the raspberry, I smell the amber, I smell that musk, I smell the Velvety Rose Petals. Oh, I know all my girls out there love wearing like the men's deodorant and like the men's body wash. And although I love the scents, it's like not me. So like scents like Into the Night and Into the Stars, I love because they give me that like masculine cologne vibe, but still smell very feminine. Okay, let me ask y'all a question. Do you guys have trouble like finishing the mini sprays more than you do the big ones? I don't know why, but I can finish the big ones like no problem, but I have such like trouble finishing the mini ones. So we still have a lot more to go. So hang in there y'all. So most of these are just the matching products, so I won't describe them too much, but I did get the Christmas Cookies Ultra Shea Body Cream, and now that I realize it, I probably should have like done these with each other, but I don't know how to explain it, but sometimes Bath & Body Works products, like they won't all smell super similar, like sometimes like the body gels and the creams and the mists smell different. This one smells so good of everything that I got I think Christmas cookie is definitely my favorite I also picked up champagne toast so yummy it's gonna go perfect with the mist and then we got some rose water and ivy honestly I feel like rose water and ivy and champagne toast are so similar you don't have to get like both like you can mix and match them really nicely so and ooh, look at the packaging they're so similar so I also got the winter candy apple do I need to smell all these? No, because I know what they're going to smell like. Do I have to still smell them? Yes. I only got one of like the Christmas collections. Well, I guess not really because like Christmas cookies is a part of the Christmas collection. But when I think of like Bath and Body Works Christmas collection, I think of like the OG threes, like Winter Candy Apple, Twisted Peppermint, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And I only got like Winter Candy Apple because I knew myself I was not going to finish vanilla bean noel or twisted peppermint so i told myself i can only pick up one and i felt like winter candy apple i was going to use the most because i already have so much vanilla i also got the a thousand wishes matching one so so nice look at this packaging and i love that it's 3d like you can feel like the crystals on it i was surprised i did pick up something from in the stars i love in the stars it is, I think I said this about like three different things, but it is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. So I love In the Stars. I think I love it just a tad bit more than Into the Night just because this one's a classic for me. I had a really bad day one time, like really, really bad day. And I happened to be wearing In the Stars. Like I did not know that it was going to be a bad day. I wouldn't use In the Stars for like a year because like whenever I smelled it, it just reminded me of that bad time. But now that like I've overcome it and like I'm like over it, 
now when I smell it, I just think of like what a boss bitch I am. Like, so now this scent, it used to make me so sad. It makes me so happy again. If you had to pick between Into the Night and In the Stars, I would say this one. And look at the packaging. It is to die for. Like I said, I did not pick up the body spray because I already have three. I'm actually gonna go grab them and show you guys. Here are my In the Stars. As you see, we still have a couple more uses in this one, maybe like three. Like these are completely filled. Okay, hey guys, sorry if the setup changed drastically or the lighting and the camera quality changed. My camera died. I've been filming all day, like I've been filming different videos today. So my camera had enough and it just completely died. So this is my DSLR, so sorry if the quality changed. But yeah, so I got the You're the One body cream packaging. It is so cute. I love that it's matte, but then it has the sparkles from the detailing. Like, ugh. Whoever thought of this packaging, like, did amazing. So the last thing for body creams is I got one of the Into the Night body creams and it just has the beautiful packaging. I love the Into the Night and the In the Stars packaging. So the last two things are body washes. I got two of the moisturizing body washes. So this one is Pretty as a Peach and I haven't smelled Pretty as a Peach before but I kind of blind bought it. Ooh, it's kind of messy. Oh my gosh, it smells so good though. If you guys don't know, peach is like one of my favorite fruity notes. So this one is like right up my alley. I love the moisturizing body washes as well. I love both of the body washes from Bath & Body Works, but this one is gonna be so, so nice. And the last moisturizing body wash that I got was the Into the Night one, of course. So I already have the In the Stars moisturizing body wash, so I decided to get the Into the Night one. Okay guys, so that was everything for my Bath and Body Works haul. I had so much fun filming this. I think this was like the funnest video that I filmed yet, just cause like I get so much serotonin from hygiene products. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if I rambled. I like love talking about hygiene so I can like go on and on about everything that I got. But like I said, this was for the $5.95 sale. So everything in this video was $5.95. So yeah, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I would love it if you stuck around, especially like I said, if you like hygiene videos, I'm definitely gonna film more of them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. I love you so much. Bye.